It's my hope that through conferences like this one, where we bring together some of the foremost thinkers in the field, we can arrive at places we never dreamed of. The conference's overarching goal is to stimulate discussion and collaboration in closing the gap between current physician training and the needs of our evolving healthcare system. Medical education is an ecosystem. It's about a group of schools working together and create a, a system of education that better meets the needs of our patients and of our healthcare system. This is too big of a job for one medical school to do. The collaborative allows the opportunity for each of them to take what's best of all the programs. To think about what the national health care needs are, to think about the, the underserved, the underrepresented, the underinsured out in the population, to figure out ways that we can bring innovative change to that model. It's about the ideas, the influence, and the tipping point that we need to reach to be able to really bring about the kind of change that we all envision. It's trying to jumpstart the process improvement that we want to see in the healthcare system using our very, very talented and um, purpose-driven students and helping them understand that being a physician in the 21st century, it looks a lot different than being a physician in the 20th century. Can we immerse them from day one and make that the learning experience for these learners. Not only because it's important for their future, but because we want them to help solve the problems that we're all facing. To work differently in this century means to learn differently. So I think we need to start talking to engineering schools and business schools and community leaders and nursing and physician assistant programs and begin to provide truly authentic, diverse learning experiences for our students. We're going to be able to individualize the curriculum for every single medical student. The second thing we're going to be able to do is to produce lifelong learners. Where we need to move as a professional educational environment is that feedback is constant, ongoing, repetitive, low stakes from the beginning so that when the clinical environment happens, the student doesn't fear the immersion. Technology has kind of taken hold in this community. The IU School of Medicine is creating a virtual health system using a teaching EMR to help our students learn about systems-based practice. We have intrinsic barriers all around us to changing the future. So at this stage, the question should not be, how about this problem? The question should be, are these aspirations great enough?